so here's how Lilac Wine starts out. We have G minor. E flat major. D7 flat 9. Okay, there's the 7. And there's a flat 9. Under my first finger. So I'm barring my first finger on the 4th fret. I've got my 2nd finger here on the D, the root, and then I'm grabbing the seventh of the chord with my third finger, which would be the fifth fret of the G string. So we have, and then it's back to the first chord, which was G minor. And then we repeat, okay? Yeah, he doesn't play the G minor twice. He goes straight to the E flat. Then he goes over here to the D7 flat 9. And this time he plays D major. And then the, the minor. Alright, so now he's going to grab D diminished like this. Okay, so you have diminished chord, right? To C major. And then C minor. G minor. And he repeats. D diminished. C major. C minor. And then he grabs the fifth from D to G. I'm sorry, the fourth from D to G, which is down to the third. Okay, so it's kind of like a D sus4 to a D. But he's really just playing two notes. You hear the D and G, and then the D and the F sharp. And then you're into the song. We're going to start with the G major, G7, you can play it like uh, like the Hendrix way with your thumb, or, but I think Buckley actually did it that way, the way Hendrix would have done it, right? G7, again, with the thumb, inversion of C, and then inversion of D. Back to the G, to G7, and this time you're going to go C, then D minor played like this. It's a um, fourth finger on the D, the minor third grabbed with the second finger, right? So it's like that, and the first finger is grabbing the A, and then G major, or G5 I guess. Back to inversion of C, right? It stays on the C for a second, you know, until it gets to an E flat major. And then we get to D.
and then he, when he says, isn't that she, he kind of does a uh, A7 with open A string. Okay, so I'm hitting the open A, grabbing the 7, right, the 3rd, minor 3rd, and the 5th. Okay, you could also do it like this, but I, you really can hear him hit the open A string, so I'm sure he played, you know might even have been fingers. Okay, so that's A7, and then he does this D7 add 9. So you're going to play a D7, just like a Beatles song, but you have the open E on top. Okay, so it's like that. You gotta make sure you're on your fingertips to get out of the way of the high E string, which is open. And then we get back and repeat the chorus. So let's get the uh, very ending of the song. It's really pretty simple. It's just straight ahead. Uh, same thing, right? You know, he starts in the kind of the last half chorus. And he goes. Okay, kind of rush through that. Um, but basically what he's doing is, I'm going to explain it, it's the same thing, the G to the G7, inverted C. Now he does a chord he's never done in the song before, this would be an E flat 6 flat 5. So he's getting a little, getting a little technical on you there. It's your third finger on the E flat, the flat 5 is underneath your fourth finger. Okay, you're grabbing the 6 here, and the octave there. So it's like that. That's how it should sound. Right. To D major. I think you want to get the. I think he gets the F sharp too on top. And then it finally ends with a G major. So there you have it. Hopefully you're not bored to tears and you enjoyed that. Um, it's a slow song, but it's beautiful. And uh, one of my favorite covers from Buckley, that's for sure. Okay, hope you enjoyed it.